Hello, my loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. All right, so we have the Five of Swords popped out. Five of Swords. We've got the Eight of Wands. We've got the Knight of Wands. Leo Sag Aries. We've got the Knight of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Eight of Swords. Hold on one sec, I just want to see something. Nope, 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 those are pages. Yep, I thought so. These are pages. Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. Ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords. There's a lot of communication here, Pisces. I feel like someone here is quite possibly um, coming in, but they're coming in as a page, Pisces. This person is coming in with very little love, very, sorry guys, very little to offer, very little love, very little passion. I feel, I feel like this person quite possibly tries to manipulate you Pisces they try to get in your head they try to manipulate you and you're tired of it you're tired of it you you've awoken to this person's games you're waking up to this person's games we have the seven of wands and we've got the ace of wands we've got the two of wands And we've got the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. We've got the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. More Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Pisces, I feel like you don't want this anymore. You want something new. I feel like you are talking to someone else here. And if you're not talking to someone else, you will be. Um... And I feel like this other person quite possibly is willing to give you the commitment that you want. The, the, this person is willing to give you and treat you the way you want to be treated. We've got still holding on. And the four of swords. I feel like Pisces, you, 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 either you or your person, someone here still wants this to come together. They still want to heal from this. This person is sick. There you are, Piscean energy. And the, um, the page of wands. We've got the Prince of Wands and the Page of Wands and the, and the Princess of Wands here. These are both pages. They're both pages. So this is going to be Divine Masculine that's making a lot of promises. Divine Feminine um, seems to be holding her ground. Queen of Wands. Yeah, someone's holding their ground here, Pisces. I feel like you're, you're trying to let go of something and someone doesn't want to let you go. We have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, and we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, what did I just say at the beginning of the reading? You're waking up to this person's games. You're waking up to this person's manipulative behavior. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We've got Second Lover. 
And we have spoiled brat. Okay. Pisces, you're about to meet someone that spoils the ever-loving crap out of you. But I gotta be honest with you. You see, Four of Pentacles, Pisces, you're pulling away from somebody here because there's something better. If you haven't met this person yet, you're about to. Pisces, I feel like you are standing your ground with this past person. You realize that this person lies and manipulates and plays these nasty mind games, and you're done with it. You started speaking to someone that wants to offer you commitment, and they find you sexy and gorgeous, and they spoil you. Um, you're finding your blessing. You're being divinely... You're being divinely guided towards a third party. You're being divinely guided towards something better. So, Pisces, I don't know if you've met this person yet or not, but congratulations. I am jealous of... I'm literally jealous of this reading. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm, I have Pisces in my um, uh, Pisces moon, so hopefully this resonates. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands and the Judgment card. Um... You've made, I, I feel like someone here maybe wants a second chance with you, Pisces, and you've made your decision with this person. This person cannot be trusted. You have to take everything that they say with a, a grain of salt. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, and the, uh, and the, um, Prince of Cups with the Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like what's happening, guys, is that this person is coming in. They're watching you. They're realizing here that there may be someone else in the picture. So they're coming in with this little offer that they have. And I don't feel like you want to take it because you know that every they're, they are a page coming in. Why do you want a page when you've got, you know what I'm saying, something, you've got a king here. You know, you've got something better. Uh, Ten of Wands and the Queen of Swords, you're done. You don't trust this person. Eight of Swords and the four of wands i feel like this person they try to they try to feed you this dream of happily ever after but it never comes together okay a page cannot offer a four of wands energy four of wands is stability a home marriage being engaged you understand what i'm saying and um, look seven of swords under the deck do you see what i'm saying this person just lies through their teeth Seven of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Guys, you're being divinely guided towards something new. You've got a divinely guided soulmate coming in. Two of Wands and the Three of Wands, the Prince of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Again, new. This is all new. This is you moving on to something new. Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles and the Star, Aquarian Energy. I'm telling you, this person finds you sexy, attractive, a wit they're, they're, so you have someone new that's going to come in that's going to give you your wish fulfillment here pisces but we have the past still holding on with the six of pentacles and the four of swords yeah this person is holding on the problem is is that this person doesn't have anything to offer you they don't want to offer you anything they're still holding on but they don't want to really work on the connection they don't see three of pentacles and the seven they don't really they're not really out to do anything do you understand king of cups and the seven of swords the page of wands and the tower aquarius gemini excuse me Aries Scorpionic Energy. What is wrong with me? Um, so King of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel that... Um I feel like you maybe have found out a truth about this person. You know that they were lying, that they were cheating, that they were... You just found out you know the truth about this person. You can't unsee this person's ugly. The Strength card and the Death card, you're holding your ground. This is over. Queen of Wands and the Justice card, Libra Energy. Um, I feel like... You may be a little vengeful here, Spices, I'm not going to lie. I, I feel like it's a little bit like, yeah, in your face, you lost me and I found something better. Hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel it's a little bit like, um, I feel like you're confident in your decision. I feel like you know that you're right, Pisces. Even if you're not in a vengeful spirit, you know you're right. You know that you have every reason in the world to walk away. The Magician and the Fool, the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, Prampress energy. Guys... This person, they, they try to play you for a fool, but you are a pre-empress for a reason because you're, you know, you, you can be blindsided a little bit, you know, because we all have faith in the beginning, but ultimately you're going to realize your worth here. 
Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. You're, I'm telling you, you're, the Spirit is bringing someone else in the picture. You have a decision to make. This person is out to bring you the Ten of Cups. This person's out to bring you stability, commitment. Second Lover and the Eight of Cups. You're walking away to go towards someone else. Spoiled Brat and the Two of Cups. This person's going to spoil you with love. Look at this. Clear as day. Ace of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. You're pulling away to go towards someone else done so even let me just let me rephrase that pisces you may not have left your person yet you may not have found the new person yet but you're gonna find you don't want to deal with the ex anymore you don't want to deal with the past anymore you're letting go of that really putting yourself out there to find something new the divine is going to bless you with a divine you're you have your perfect counterpart coming in look at this you've got the two of cups you've got the lover's card you've got the wheel of fortune all divinely guided soulmates. You've got the Hierophant. I mean, this is like the real deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? You've got real, something real coming in here. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some Oracle. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Pisces, please? What just flipped? Did something just flip? The vast universe. That is a cycle shutting out for real, for real. We've got hidden motivations and travel yeah i feel like this per you the, the, this past person has has bad intentions they have bad intentions and you're moving on you're moving away from it you are moving away from it moving away <laughs> you are like this is over clarity guidance for my pisces fifth chakra contract and door to value yep someone here is saying listen th this person talks a lot they talk a lot and you're done listening to the bull crap they have hidden motivations and contract here i feel like yeah they want to get back together because it benefits them in no way shape or form does this connection benefit you i feel like you're moving on to someone who values you more here pisces yeah see door to romance uh door to value um someone here really finds you attractive they want a life with you they want a connection with you spirit what messages do we have here for my pisces please so we've got worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments um i feel like this person's not going to let go Okay, they're not going to let go, um, but I feel, Pisces, it is important for you to make the effort to forgive this person as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. Um, I feel... I feel that you have, you deserve love. Trust in the fact that you have a soulmate coming in, uh, uh, Pisces, excuse me. So you have someone new coming in. It is important to forgive this past person so that you it doesn't corrupt this new love. Okay? I am jealous of this reading. I really am. I love you guys. Bye.